inspiring millions around the world. But it is tonight that prayers are now pouring in for Bishop T.D. Jakes, the Dallas megachurch pastor appearing to have some sort of health incident during a morning service that was inside this morning, inside the Potter's house. Our Olivia Lease is more on how Jakes is doing on this evening, including an update from his daughter. In a shocking moment that's now gone viral, Bishop Keith Gates, the founder and senior pastor of the Potter's House Church of Dallas, was on stage Sunday, finishing an hour-long sermon when he lowered his mic and began to shudder. A crowd of people quickly rushed over and surrounded him on stage. <laughs> In a statement posted on social media Sunday afternoon, the Potter's House of Dallas said Bishop T.D. Jakes experienced a, quote, slight health incident. They said he received immediate medical attention and is now stable and under the care of medical professionals. Hey, family. Hey. I know that today's been a, an interesting day for us. Late Sunday, Bishop Jake's daughter, Sarah Jake's Roberts, and her husband, Ture Roberts, who both often deliver sermons at the Potter's House, gave an update on how Bishop Jake's is doing. Obviously, today could have been a, a, a trash day, but it wasn't by the mercy of God, by the grace of God. Uh, Bishop is doing well. He's recovering well. He's under medical care. Uh, he's strong. We're trying to get him to sit down. He's, he's uh, the strong bishop that we know, but we really can't thank you enough for your prayers. On the mega church's Facebook, more than 2,000 people commented on the church's statement, sharing their prayers and hopes for Bishop Jake's quick recovery. Well wishes are also pouring in from other Dallas church leaders, including Pastor Frederick Haynes of Friendship West Baptist Church, who told CBS News Texas, quote, Bishop Jake's is a once-in-a-generation gospel giant. We're praying for him, his family, and for the Potter's House. Bishop T.D. Jakes founded the Potter's House in 1996. You can't have a new season until you are willing to say goodbye to the season you had. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 men. All right? Uh, T.D. Jakes reportedly has a stroke while preaching all right you know and um you know whether whether or not you know what a lot of people are saying that you know he's faking it you know whether or not he's faking it or not at the end of the day you know your judgment is going to come on men like this all right you have to understand that right because he's a fake false prophet all right and the lord wrote about that in the scriptures all right you best believe that all right so all those who who follow him as well you know they're not gonna turn out they're not gonna turn out in a big in a good position all right when it's all said and done all right let's get the book of jeremiah chapter 6 and i'll start verse 13 it says what for from the least of them even unto the greatest of them everyone is given to covetousness right you know greed that the gain is godliness doctrine right and from the prophet even unto the priest everyone dealeth falsely right false in the nlt it says from prophets to priests they are all frauds right pretenders right fakes all right so you can understand it says they have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there is no peace so they they they, they are preach good uh everything is gonna be all right doctrines you know everything is gonna be good you know you're gonna get money sow a seed you're gonna get back a reward all right that's the shit that they push all right but they don't tell you you know the judgment that is to come they don't tell you the the plagues that that at your doorstep all right you know it says um were they ashamed when they had committed abomination nay they were not at all ashamed these are the type of, of men um, as the scripture talk about then that, that speak smooth words all right um speak smooth smooth um smooth words all right these are the kind of men that that's let me see if i can find this baba kusha um, bear with me all right uh prophesy so like yeah 
prophesy deceit, right? Prophesy deceit. Okay, Isaiah thirty and nine. Let's go. Let's get that. But that's what we're dealing with our rebellious people. Isaiah chapter thirty, verse nine. It says, uh, <clears throat> Isaiah 30 and 9, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the, the law of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, which say to the seers, what he say as the prophets, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right thing. That's why they don't like us men of the Lord, on, you know, who on the priories and byways. All right, because we don't, we don't, we prophesy thus say the Lord you know, and not our own heart. Right, prophesy not unto us right things, so they what speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit, and that's exactly what TD Jakes and the men like him, other pastors and priests like him know they, they prophesy smooth things, which is what the people like to hear. Right, so we're gonna rock them back to sleep, make them feel complacent, make them feel like you know Babylon the Great, you know, and all these other countries around the world are the rest. No, the Lord said, Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart. For what this is not our your rest. It is polluted. And it will destroy you with what? A, a serious a, a roughly paraphrasing. A serious destruction. In fact, let me just get at uh, Micah 2 and verse 10. Right? It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. And that it, it, and that's exactly what men like T D Snakes, you know, um, push for the people to be comfortable all right in this wicked place okay isaiah 30 and 11 get you out of the way turn aside out of the path cause the holy one of israel to cease from before us wherefore thus said the lord of the, and this is what what's what gonna happen you know they're gonna they're gonna be end up in a in, in a destroyed state wherefore thus said the holy one of israel because he despised this word and trust in oppression and perverseness Right, you jakes. But they say two, more than two thousand of them sent um sympathy um messages for him. All right, and, and and um despite all what happened, you know, all that was revealed with um him and Diddy, with all the um late night parties and the S the escapades and the uh the the the, the, the um freaking fairy batty boyism, you know, um they're still supporting this guy, more than thirty thousand members in his church. All right. So all of them are guilty too. It says, Therefore, wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. Right? So that sin going to be to you as a breach ready to fall. Right? Swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. So he's going to come Suddenly, and then the Lord said that, you know, um, he's going to come as a thief in the night. Yeah. All right. And he shall and he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel. Woo! And, and that's what, um, isn't that what T.D. Jake's house is called? The potter's house? Yeah, that potter's house is going to be broken up. All right. It's going to be shattered in many pieces. All right. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces. He shall not spare so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it a should to take fire from the hurt or to take water with all out of the pit. Right? It's going to be shattered so completely. There won't be a piece big enough to carry coals. Right? From the fire from the fireplace. Alright? You, do, you don't play with your Hawaba Hashem Yahweshai. Alright? You don't play with the Lord, you know. For thus saith the Lord power, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall he be saved. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. So you didn't want to rest in the Lord. You want to rest in this reprobate called T.D. Snakes, T.D. Jakes, and uh, in this hypocrite who knows that we are Jews, we are the, we are the real Israelites. All right? He said it on us in our, in our small church. All right? When he went to our small church, not in his mega church, of course. All right? So he's a demon. All right? You best believe, and all you following after him, you want to be destroyed. Jeremiah 6. And verse 13, it says, um, For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, there is one, there every one is given to covetousness. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone led falsely. 
right? They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly so they have their faults. And they're lying to the people. Telling them that there's no Jacob's trouble coming. Everything is going to be peaceful. All right? So they heal, this, they, they heal the, the, the daughter of my people, right? Which is the Israelites. Slightly saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they are committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, right? He's still doing his wickedness. He's still preaching out their lies. Neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall at the time at that at the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down. See at Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. You best believe they're gonna be cast down. All right. Even if it, if it's real or if it's fake, you best believe till the snakes gonna be cast down. All right. Because they are wicked, evil men. All right. Jeremiah five, verse twenty six. These these are the men that the scripture is talking about. You know it says, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set a snare as a trap, right? They set a trap. They catch men. They catch all these jakes. 30,000 members plus those who are um, around the world who listen to the, to the, the um, televangelist ministry, all right? You know, that's, that, that's what they do, right? But all of them are going to be put to shame when the Lord prophecies come to pass, all right? You best believe that. It says, um, verse 27, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit right the house is going to be full of deceit the potter's house that's what it's about deception all right preaching the doctrine uh, of plantation christianity right the lies worshiping our, our white man jesus you know which is really ain't nothing but a devil all right that's what that's what they like right deception it says therefore they are become great and waxing rich and td jakes um net worth i believe is estimated at US 20 million. Could be more than that. It says they are waxing fat, they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge, right? It says, you know, that's what they do, right? They don't provide justice and truth. Okay? Verse 29 says, Shall I not visit for these things, say at Yahweh? Basham Yahweh Shai? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? You know? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land, right? It says the prophets prophesy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means, right? So the prophets give false prophecies and the priests bear rule with no with the iron hand, right? The NLT. It says, and my people love to have it so. That's why they send in all these sympathy uh, messages. Over 2,000. That's why all his members continue to be with him even though he did a lot of iniquity and wickedness. Alright? You see, the people of the Lord love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? What are you going to do when the end comes? Alright? You know, what are you going to do when Jacob's trouble comes? Alright? You know, you're going to be in a bad state. All you wicked ass chicks. All right, because you followed after this man. All right, it, it, it happened before and it's going to happen again, you know, in the scriptures, right? It happened before. You best believe it's going to happen again. All right. <clears throat> um, just bear with me a moment here. Right. Gamaliel's counsel, Acts 5 and 33. When they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. That's the, the apostles say that they, brother, brother, uh, they talk, spoke about the Lord, or they slay the Lord. It said, um, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. Then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, had in reputation among all the people. And commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. And said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. For before these days rose up to us, boasting himself to be somebody like T.D. Jakes, all, uh, you know, and all of them, they boast themselves to be somebody, to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who were slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. And that's, what, that's the reason why I read this. These, these Jakes who follow after... T.D. Jakes and, like, and likewise the other preachers 
they're going to be scattered and brought to naught. Right? Verse 37 says, After this, man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him. He also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And that's exactly what's going to happen to all these jakes very soon. Right? With all the plagues that are coming. See Trump coming in office, setting up um, the whole stage and the system to bring in the MOTB, you know, and Jacob's trouble. All right? Talking about making uh, uh, um, immigration camps. What do you think those camps going to be? Concentration camps. All right? That's, what, that, that's what's going to happen to you. You're going to be dispersed and brought to naught. All you Jakes who follow after him. All right? These wicked ass, these wicked ass men, right? Galatians 1 and... Uh, Verse 6, this is the perversion of the gospel, right? The good news. That's what these guys are about, perverting the true gospel. And a lot of them know, they know, they know that the Hebrew is lies out. They're preaching you the word from, you know, they heard the apostles and the elders, uh, the brothers pushing this word, you know, and they refuse to change their doctrine, you know, because of the love of money. You know, that's why the scriptures say you can't worship God and Mammon. All right? You have to choose one. So instead, instead of worshiping the Lord, you know, and um, giving up their money and all those things, what did what they do? They pervert the gospel to gain riches, right? It says, um, I marvel, Galatians 1 and 6, that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Mashiach unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Mashiach. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be what accursed. So this guy here, you best believe um this guy here. Um so like, yeah, this thing. See if it opens up here. Let me see if I can bring it back. Inspiring. This guy here, he's accursed. He's a curse talking about my redeemer. Let them let them go in peace. Yeah, you, you're not gonna go in peace. Right? The Lord is gonna put serious, heavy judgment, brutal judgments upon you, 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 you pastors. Alright? You're not gonna go in, in, in peace. Alright? Galatians 1 and verse um verse um verse 8. It says, um, Maria over, but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you. Than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Right? And so therefore, what he's accursed, he cursed. Right? Okay? It says, as we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Right? Okay? For for do I now persuade men or the heavenly father? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Right? But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Mashiach, of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Alright? So this guy, you know, um, T.D. Jakes, he's a cursed man. He's a marked man. Alright? He's a marked man. Best believe that. 1 Corinthians um, 16 verse 22 it says um if any man love not the lord yahweh shai mashiach because if you love the lord you know you would feed the flock and i'm talking about feeding the flock with no false doctrine feeding the flock with the true doctrine the proper word all right so if many man love not the lord yahweh shai or yahweh shai say if you love me peter feed my flock feed my sheep all right feed them with what proper pure doctrine clean doctrine all right, they've spoken about the 7,000 men that didn't bow the, the, the knee to Baal. Right, it's in the book of Revelation, they talk about the, uh, uh, these men being virgins, v mean, meaning that they, 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 they preach the pure doctrine. Right, we once in the world, you know, you know uh, um, knowing um, false doctrine, following, uh, following after false gods, but now we've turned from those wicked ways and repented and, be, and was converted. Right, and we're preaching the truth. All right, so, you know, if any man love not the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, let them, that man be ana, anathema maranatha. Which means what? That person is cursed. I mean, the NLT says, if anyone does not love the Lord, 
that person is cursed our lord come till till the lord come all right that's what that means when you go into the um interlinear all right this is what it this is what it means anathema right <clears throat> a thing set up or laid by a by in order to be kept so you've been kept right um could jump in down to the uh to the uh point two it says a thing devoted to god without hope of being redeemed and if an animal be slain therefore a person not thing doomed to destruction right a says a curse b says um and second entry b says a man a curse devoted to the desirous of diarist of woes with worst destruction right until the lord come right which is um uh when they go into maranatha Maran, maranatha it says what our Lord cometh or will come, right? That's 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 what reserved unto men like this. Alright? You best believe that. So he he's a marked man. And best believe until you know the look to the Lord belongs the issues from death. Alright, that's um I believe it's because Psalm is it Psalms uh let's see that. Psalms I'm trying to remember the Psalm now, okay belong the issues let's see if i could type this in here and come up issues issues from death let's see right psalm 60 and 20 that's it right psalm 60 and 20 he that is our power is the power of salvation and unto power the lord belong the issues from death the lord is the one who who calls the number and best believe, you know, life and death come from you now, Basham Yawashai. Right? So when you're when this guy number calls, you best believe the Lord is gonna take him. Right? The Lord is gonna take him away. Most likely a brutal manner. Not in any kind of form of peace. First Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it back up. So the Lord is gonna is gonna do it when the time is right. Right, so if he pretending, let him let him pretend he's a hypocrite anyway, a reprobate. Right, but if it's real, that's the judgment of the Lord. And best believe, all the false prophets, the judgment is coming to you. All right, I pray this lesson was edifying. Till next time, shalom, wa bad babal.